and our unexpected bike trip in this beautiful little beach town about an hour and a half south of Bologna. Um, we've been here for the last two days, but it's been really rainy and finally we got the sun, so it should make for at least a decent day. Not exactly sure what we're doing. I think it's uh, about 60 kilometers and we're doing between three and five of these Tuscan, Tuscany castles, Tuscan. Uh, what province is this? Yeah, Roma. Right. You look super, super Italian with your jersey. It's gotten really quite windy. I don't know if this audio is gonna work out at all, but. It's just beautiful. I've been seeing some great sights in the last couple uh, videos here. I hope you think the same. Biggest climb of the day. Done. Get a good shot over there. No, I'm filming this. You don't have to. And uh, we made it to San Lutic. What's it? I don't know. These names are too hard Is for me. Name on there. Simmer. San Luticio. Six kilometer climb. Sure. Fantastic. The rest of the group is joining us right now. Look at this beautiful vista. And the ocean that way in the distance. Uh, Really beautiful rolling hills, and we're gonna sit Look here and grab a bit of coffee. The trees are quite And the final push on the uh, way back to the hotel. I think we're about 55 kilometers now. Uh, done almost all the elevation for the rest of the day, and. Just a more casual pedal home. Putting those calories right back on. <laughs> That's why you do it, bud. I don't know what I was thinking. I haven't seen the sun in about six months. And just absolutely burnt to crisp. Little mate track. Uh, it's a Saturday night, so everything is open now. Our first two days, it was ghost town. Nothing open, but now, I guess it was raining too. Now it's, it's finally nice place. out. We're gonna go do a little bit of shopping in the little city square and then dinner later tonight. What do you think? A lot different than last night. Yeah, but for food. Are we getting in there or not? Oh, I don't know, do you want to see me try? This is a thick crust pizza. Take a look at that. Yeah, it looks pretty good though. This is important today. Si sa, noi del sud parliamo a voce alta. Si sa, noi del sud facciamo discussione. And we're, uh, in line. we're walking in lines. The French are getting big lines. Uh, it was about an hour and a half drive, and then the race doesn't start for another four hours, so we have a lot of time to get a pizza. It's almost like a, uh, an amusement park. There's restaurants and a campground right houses. here. Yeah, people have homes inside of here. Um, yeah, orchards. <laughs> Come on. Come on. All right, John, tell me about Imola. Small town, no one speaks English, authentic. But okay, that one's amazing. How many races in Italy are there? Two. So tell me a bit more about this one. I don't know a lot about this one. It's just a fucking amazing race. Like, no, 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 no. Spring yesterday, we were sitting right at the start line, and Charles passed Max in the first lap. It was fucking amazing. Everyone was going nuts. Yeah. Including myself. Fucking Forza for that. Okay, who's winning today? Um, John thinks Ricardo, but hopefully Charles. Hey, it's a wet track. <laughs> Gotta go with the veteran. Daniel Ricardo. <laughs> so, four tokens of beer, six sacks of eight tokens. That wow. makes 12 <laughs> beers. 
So perfect math. <laughs> nice, nice. <laughs> That was astounding. And not the result that many of the Italians would like. Science was out. And uh, Leclerc hit the barrier. But aside from that, and just to see those cars so fast, hard to even like describe. And then, uh, yeah, uh, we're kind of rushing to get back to the car. And then we go back to Riccione for the night. And that's kind of it. I like your hat. Hey. Alpermenismo <laughs>